regreso aquí en Auto 060, estamos aquí, vamos en California, bueno, nosotros estamos aquí en el estudio en Miami, pero vamos a ir hasta California y vamos, vamos a cambiar al inglés otra vez. We're, uh, we're here in Miami, but we're talking now to In Case from Mazda in California. How are you, Dean? Uh, very good, very good. Thank you. You are in one of my favorite places uh, in the world, uh, Laguna Seca in, in Monterey, in California. How, how are things there today? Uh, well, it's typical for Monterey. It's a little foggy in the morning, but by uh, 10 o'clock or so, it'll be uh, spectacular at the track. Exactly. And then especially at the track, like the famous uh, Laguna Seca track, which Mazda has had a relationship there for a long time, right? I, the track has actually been named Mazda Raceway for the last 12 years since the partnership began between uh, Mazda and the county. The, the track is owned by the county of Monterey. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I've been there uh, a few times, and it's, it's really spectacular. And um, it can be pretty tricky if you don't know what you're doing, right? <laughs> especially in the in yeah, course. all the course screws, the famous <laughs> turn. <laughs> yeah, I was there once at um, at an event uh, for another manufacturer, and um, it was a pretty expensive car. It has a lot of carbon fiber parts in it and spoilers and all that. And um, we heard a little, a lot of braking, and then like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> from the pit area so you can imagine what was uh, going on over there but anyway um it's, it's it's a really fun place to be but um we, we're uh, we have dean out here with us because uh, master is also involved in something else i mean like driving fun and fast at, at laguna seca is one of the main things with mazda but also mazda is involved in the project yellow light um can you tell us a little bit about this please Well, what we try to do is connect the dots on several things. Moss has more young race drivers than any other brand. We, uh, in between a very series, Mazda powered uh, US Formula 2000 Championship and Mac 5 Cup, Pro Moss, and all these. We have a bunch of teenage race drivers from around the country and around the world, for that matter. Yeah. A lot of drivers from Canada, Mexico, and elsewhere. We kind of we knew that distracted driving was a huge problem among the youth, and so we tried to kind of team up and raise awareness because we have these young ambassadors. The uh, teenagers may not want to listen to you or I tell them to not drive distracted. Yeah. But if it's one of their peers, they're more willing to do it. So we teamed up with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, uh, aka NHTSA, which is part of the Department of Transportation, and a, a small nonprofit called Project Yellow Light. And what we're doing is we're uh, awarding scholarships to high school seniors and college students for creating 60-second public service announcement videos on the dangerous distracted driving. We, we just announced our uh, winners. Uh, we have um, six students from around the country who uh, are getting some scholarship money from Mazda for their efforts in helping raise awareness of these dangers. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So those videos were made uh, by, by the students? I mean, uh, yeah. no, no big production or anything like that? Just like... No, no, no very, very simple. And, and, you know, it's astounding. I mean, if you've been to a, an Apple store, You can find kids under 10 years old learning how to uh, edit video. So uh, it's not, be I mean, they, they <laughs> yeah. very, well, very... Don't, don't make me feel bad, okay? Because <laughs> I did some video myself, but yeah, you're right. It's amazing that technology uh, yeah. today. So, um, you know, the results are very impressive, and we're happy to be associated with it. Because, one, we like to do some give back to the community, and we try to do it in ways that are kind of relevant to our products and things. So we do that. Uh, Yeah. on the youth uh, safety side. Yeah, and you were saying Ma Mazda is, uh, is this very driven to young young drivers uh, with all, especially um, with all the, um, I mean, being associated with Laguna Seca, the, the video games actually is one of the main things that, that starts the kids uh, in getting interested in cars, right? And the Miata, I yeah. believe, is uh, one of the most uh, most driven cars for weekends and tracks, right? I, I believe that's true. Yes, uh, Spec Miata is the number one uh, most popular race car for road racing in the entire U.S. by far. Yeah. There are almost 3,000 of them. And just, I mean, the fact that Mazda sold over 900,000 Miatas since 1990, you know, just actually 1989 when it first went on sale there, uh, we're approaching our 25th anniversary, so that there's just a ton of those cars out there, so they're very affordable to go racing. Yeah, and the ratio between uh, power and, and weight of the car and all those uh, characteristics make it really fun to drive. But yeah, it, well, you nailed it there. I mean, it's power to weight ratio. It's not the Miata, the MX-5 Miata is not a high power car, but the power to weight ratio is excellent. Yeah. So this project, uh, this, was this the first time that Mazda was involved in this? or? or yes. 
It's the second year for Project Yellow Light uh, and the first year for Mazda to be a partner with us. Yeah. And uh, for our audience, uh, you mentioned uh, there's all the videos. Is there any any website or any place where we can, I mean, I can, we can just Google it, but is there a, a web page for Project Yellow, Project Yellow Light dot com. You can go on there. You can also find there's a Project Yellow Light uh, page on Facebook. Yeah. And I think your uh, listeners can find it either place. And hopefully, you know, everything works. And we, I see this as a multi-year project for us, we hope. And uh, we hope to give a lot of money away to... Uh, Young, uh, young adults in high school and college. Yeah, it's 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 really uh, it's an amazing project and it's also very important because as we all know, I mean there are states like here in Florida where we don't have any laws against it. They just passed one law, but it's it's really lame because you you ha it's like a secondary infraction, so you have to be something you have done you must have done something wrong before uh, and texting at the same time, which is which which happens, but still it's not very good. No. Uh, so it's it's a very a very good campaign to to make people aware of what can happen in in in, in those situations. Uh, so um, what's going on in in um, Laguna Seca these days there with uh, with Mazda? Well, right now this this weekend I'm out here for the uh, American Le Mans series along with the SCCA Pro Racing Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup Cooper Tires Prototype Light and a few other races out here. So this is the uh, kickoff race weekend for 2013. Uh, later this year, we'll have MotoGP, uh, World Superbike, uh, of course, the Monterey Motorsports Reunion, the biggest vintage race weekend uh, in the country. Yeah, can you tell me a little bit about that? That's in August, right? In August, yeah. Every August, uh, you know, the whole area of Monterey becomes just a mecca for, you know, vintage cars because there's the Monterey Motorsports Reunion at Monster Raceway. There's also the Pebble Beach Concours. There's Concours at Italiano. There's a bunch of the uh, vintage car auctions. It's, it's really kind of um, the biggest gathering for vintage car bus in the country. And it's a third day. It went from one weekend to now it's about a week and a half. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, the love of, uh, of cars that people have over there, and like, but everybody from around the country go there to, to see uh, these. But the Mazda specifically has something going on there that week too, right? Well, I mean, since it's our home track, I mean, we always have some, there's Mazda content no matter what. And the Motorsports Reunion Mazda usually pulls out all the cars from the, uh, our, you know, we call it the, the museum. It's really our basement at research and development, but we keep several of the uh, vintage Mazda race cars. So we'll be running several of the infamous four rotors. Yeah. Uh, the GTP car, uh, one of the Le Mans 787s will run the championship winning Mazda RX-7 GTO car. And those are, if you've never heard of four rotor, they scream. Yeah. That's great. So Laguna Seca, it's a, it's a very fun uh, track for me. When I was a little kid, my father used to send us from Mexico to summer school in San Francisco, and my cousin used to sneak me in the trunk of his car to get me to the track to see motorcycle races that he, he loved back then. So I always have good memories from uh, Laguna Seca there. Well, it's kind of funny. You, this track is very unique from the standpoint that this was uh, a U.S. Army base when the track was originally built in the 50s. Yeah. And when the base was closed down, they turned it over to the, the county of Monterey. So it's technically the Laguna Seca Recreational Area is a Monterey County Park within is Mazda Raceway. Yeah. And so the track is actually, the official name for the track now is Mazda Raceway. Yeah. And uh, everything they do there is a, a charity, it's a non-profit, and any profit they make are um, invested back in local charities in the Monterey County area. Yeah, that's great. So, well, thank you very much for your time, Dean. Uh, is there a, a web page for the for the actual track where uh, people can can also look all the activities that Mazda is doing there? Well, I mean, you can go to MazdaRaceway dot com. You can also go to MazdaUSA dot com and look for the uh, tab for motorsports. Uh, for those of you, your uh, listeners are on uh, Facebook, uh, we have a Mazda Speed Motorsports Facebook page that we update uh, multiple times during any race weekend, so you can kind of go behind the scenes with us at the track. Excellent. We, uh, we'll, we'll do that and we'll, paste all, uh, we'll post all that information on our own, own, own Facebook page so people can have Super. access to it. And we'll, we'll like your Facebook page. <laughs> thank you very much, Dean, and we'll likewise. So thank you very much. Enjoy the weekend there with, uh, with Mazda and uh, we'll uh, also keep telling people about this uh, Jello Light project uh, that Mazda is involved with. Thank you very much for your time again. Thank you for having us on the show. Excellent. Pues ahí tiene la, el proyecto Jewel Light Project en el que Mazda está involucrado para 
eh, alertar y llamar la atención de los jóvenes principalmente, ya que Mazda es una marca eh, orientada en algunos aspectos a, a, a los conductores más jóvenes con autos como el, el Mazda Miata, que es el, como decíamos ahí con, con Dean, uno de los autos que más se conduce en pistas eh, durante los fines de semana acá en Estados Unidos, casi un millón de Mazdas vendidos desde que debutó acá en Estados Unidos y un auto súper popular para los que les gusta hacer el tuning. Pero bueno, ahí tienen el Project Yellow Light, pueden ir ahí, pro, projectyellowlight.com, vamos, eh, como dije, está la información en nuestra página de Facebook, facebook.com, auto 060, y ahí tienen eh, una iniciativa muy interesante, eh, un proyecto para publicar videos que llamaren la atención sobre el tema, eh, muy impactante a la vez, porque lamentablemente uh, hay chicos que han muerto a consecuencia de esto, así que pongan mucha atención en este en este tema, eh, involúcrense en él eh, y quizá pueden participar también el año próximo, como dijo Dean Case ahí de la Mazda, él también, eh, ellos van a estar involucrados en este proyecto durante de mucho tiempo. Así que información valiosa, divertida, interesante y ojalá que muy útil para poder evitar accidentes y más muertes en las carreteras por el mal hábito que tenemos de manejar y enviar mensajes de texto al mismo tiempo. No se vayan, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota, ya regresamos.